Hello everybody, Smarter Cowboy here for BergmanWriters.com. It's been a month of Sunday since I made a vlog or a, written an article for Bergman Writers. It's about time for me to do that. A lot of things have been happening with the Smarter Cowboy that uh, uh, I may get into, I may not. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you my newest modification that I've done to the Bergman scooter. There was a gentleman on the forums that were making these backrests. I'm not sure if the gentleman is still making them or not. But uh, I went on uh, the BergmanUSA.com website and uh, found a tutorial on how to do these. But uh, if the gentleman is still making these backrests, and if you want one, I suggest that you get one from, from that gentleman because these are a little bit difficult to make. And if I didn't have the help from my friend, uh, I doubt if I could make one. But uh, this is from an old Zuzu rodeo I got from a junkyard for 15 bucks. And I took some uh, vinyl paint and painted that. Took the butt stop out, as you can see. And uh, did some, uh, uh, what do they call it, the wire wrap to uh, put your cables and stuff in from the computer to keep them all bunched together. And uh, I put put that on there and let's see if you can see that without me taking this off which you can't really um, but maybe there took uh, uh, some uh, copper pipe and cut it to size to fit the slider that goes in and then use some uh, vinyl tubing to take up the space inside the uh, copper pipe and made this backrest on it and it's a lot more comfortable it gives you more leg room when you're riding. I have a problem with the lower discs of my back which I just found out recently. And the bus stop that I had on there was creating, was, was not helping, I don't, shouldn't say created the problem, but not helping the problem. And uh, so this backrest is surely a, a well worth the effort and it's really a godsend to be quite honest with you. And if you notice I put a, uh, a fork tool bag on here just because that's where I keep my my glasses in there and, I'll, and uh, some gas treatment and I also have a folding cane that I have to use on occasion and I'll get into that too here in a little bit so while I'm having to carry a a cane with me which is not not good at all but well I guess I need to put this other stuff back in there but uh, that's the newest modification that I've done on the on the Bergman on Alf right boy and uh, it works quite well works very well actually so uh, never mind this paper here. I'm going to do another vlog on YouTube. Had some questions about uh, what do you use two fingers for your brakes? How do you do you cover your brakes and such as that? So, <coughs> excuse me. If you want to see that, you can go to youtube.com forward slash the Smyrna Cowboy when I get it put up. And you can see that video, which I'll make after I've done this one here. So, we're going to do some riding. Get my shades on. Yes, I call them shades. I don't call them sunglasses. I call them shades. I'm real old school, as you can imagine. So, let's tell you what's been going on with this Smyrna Cowboy here lately. Turn on my XM radio. When I get through the videos, I can listen to the comedy channel, which I love to listen to. So, let's get on out here to the street. And we'll do a little vlogging here for BergmanRiders.com. Like I said, I haven't done I haven't done this in a month of Sundays. 
So well, let me tell you what's been happening with me. I guess uh, you've known about my my weight loss. I'm doing this for my daughter's wedding, which is going to be, I think, a month and 22 days from the date of this video, or 21 days or something like that. It's October 17th of this year. So I'm having to lose weight for that. I've lost a grand total of 65 pounds so far. This guy's coming up on me. I'll flash my brake lights to make sure he sees me. So, into the ditch you go. So, that's been going on. Been doing that, and believe it or not, I got uh, custom fitted for a suit. I could not believe that. This is the first time in my lifetime that I've got custom fitted for a suit, for anything. So, that was an experience and a half right there to be quite honest and uh, as you may or may not have known uh, Steve our fearless leader on bourbonriders.com put up a video that I posted about uh, kidney stones I had a kidney stone attack this past Monday I knew exactly what it was because I had them when I was uh, uh, about 20 years ago so that would make me about 30 years old. I knew exactly what the pain was, and uh, I had to call off work Monday, which I hate doing, and uh, passed that kidney stone from my kidney to my bladder. So that really hurt a lot. And uh, I guess it's been about a month now. I've been having some problems with this left hip. So uh, I've been taking uh, arthritis medication, which you know, that's what I'm thinking it is, just regular old arthritis. And uh, it, the pain got so bad that I went to my family physician. And uh, so he ordered some tests, some x-rays, MRI, uh, ultrasound. And with the uh, x-rays come back, I have no cartilage in my left hip. So it's rubbing bone against bone right now. So I had three options. I could either, one, take arthritis and pain medication, go through therapy, which is, i.e., the chiropractor. That's uh, option one, just then just live with it as long as I can. Uh, option two is uh, take cortisone shots, which I really don't want to do if I can help it because they have to go to the x-ray or some other type of machine to guide the needle into exactly where my hip joint is. Or, and uh, the third option is get a total hip replacement. So, and the uh, orthopedic doctor told me that they last about 10 years. So I'm putting that off until uh, as long as I can. So maybe by then the technology will be available so I can have a bionic hip so I can run faster and jump higher. And, uh, outrun all these kids out here. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, uh, that's the uh, last thing that I want to do, so that's been that's been pretty much what's been what's been happening with a smarter cowboy. I've been trying to ride as much as I can. So I would like to welcome all the newest members to BergmanRiders.com, the forums that we have. Uh, thank you very much for taking an interest in, in our forum. And if there's any questions that you would like to ask this morning, Cowboy, I will try my best to answer those for you, either through reply through email, on the forums, or through video. And, uh, you can take but if you have a special request, if you want me to do a video on it, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. So be safe, be careful out there. This is the Smyrna Cowboy for BergmanWriters.com, wishing you and yours a good day, and until next time, adios.